Do you get excited when your students are drawn to fascinating characters or interesting topics that you're learning about? And then they have lots of questions and sometimes they have more questions than answers. So they come to you and then you're wishing that they could just speak to that character directly or an expert on that topic. Well, I have an AI tool that can provide just that experience for your students. Have you ever heard of School AI? It's an AI educational program that offers free versions for educators. It provides a wealth of knowledge for teachers, but it also stands out because of the learning experiences that it can create for your student. One of the standout features is a platform called Spaces, where it creates these educational spaces for your students to learn and grow in their knowledge. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like when you log into School AI. And it's it's almost like a dashboard. They call it a launch pad. And we're gonna focus today on the spaces feature. You can get there at the top. You can click on that little arrow and see the discover tab. That will take you to thousands of student activities that teachers have created for your students to use. You can create your own space and customize it and create it from scratch. Or you can also, there's a tab where you can view the sessions. Maybe you've launched a couple of different student spaces. That's where you can go and see what your students are actually doing, how they're interacting, the kinds of questions that they're asking, that kind of thing. So you can get there at the top or you can just click on the middle button where it says find a space, either way. And if you are if you can kind of filter, so maybe you pick a specific state standard and grade level, you can do it that way. The first one I wanna talk about is using like a historical figure that they would have a simulated chat or conversation with. So maybe you've been studying Rosa Parks, for example. And so I type Rosa Parks in there and you'll see lots of different spaces that teachers have created, okay? If I click on the first one, a conversation with Rosa, at the top, it will kind of describe this space. So then if you want, you decide you want to launch it, and I would always try it out first before you launch it with students, you click the blue launch button. And then it comes up with a link or a URL that you can copy, and then you could paste it right into Google Classroom or wherever you share information with your students. I'm going to paste it into a new window so that you can see the student side and what this could look like. So they would type their name in the box so that you know which student this is and click join. And then you'll see, hello, I'm Rosa Parks. Ask me anything about my life and activism. And let's inspire each other to stand up for what we believe in. And, and if they can't read it, it has this tool where you can click the speak button and it will read it out loud to them. And then if when they respond, instead of typing, if they can't type, they can speak into it and record it will go speak speech to text. So it does have that feature for your EL students, for your special needs students, for your lower level students. I might say, how long or did you actually go to jail? Yes, I did go to jail for refusing to give up my seat. This act sparked a significant protest and paved the way. How long were you in jail? I was in jail for a brief period after my arrest, which led to the Montgomery boycott that lasted to 381 days. See how the student gets to drive their own learning. They get to ask the questions. They get to find out the, the stuff that they're interested in. And I, I love this idea as an alternative to let's read a passage about Rosa Parks because they're going to find out the information that they want to know more about. I love that. So that's one feature is to use the spaces tool for his, an historical character. Another feature would be going into the spaces box. I'm going to go to the, click the discover and then would be topic explorer. If you type topic explorer into the box and you click on this with the telescope, this is designed to have the students have a space where they get to interact with an expert on any topic. So they can learn what they wanna learn about. And so you can type in the topic that you want to explore. So I'm gonna type in solar system and then I'm gonna click the launch button. And this is where I can copy it and I can start a new window for a new space on the solar system. We can type our name in the box and click join. It says, hello there. Did you know that Jupiter has a storm called the Red Spot that's been raging for at least 350 years? What do you already know about the solar system? Or is there something specific you're curious about? Maybe I want to say, what is the largest planet? 
largest planet is Jupiter. It's massive. To give you an idea, Jupiter's diameter is 11.2 times that of the Earth. Why do you think it's important for astronomers to study such giant planets? You know, and then I can answer back or I can use the speak uh, tool. It can be read to me and then I can speak my answers back. So I love using this spaces feature as a way, as an alternative to text, as a way for students to gather the information that they're looking for and learn, you know, new and interesting facts. And then they can turn around and write about it or just for comprehension. Students have the opportunity to learn information that they may not have learned in a normal passage on that topic, right? They can learn unique information that they're interested in. But this is where the instruction that you provide is key. You need to take this information that they're learning a step further and show them how to organize the information that they're learning about. This is where some of our favorite Smekins tools can come into play. What about filling out a, a Smekins ABC chart with all the interesting facts that they're learning? Or what about a biographical information pyramid on Rosa Parks or Abraham Lincoln, for example, taking the facts that they're learning and putting it into their own words in an information pyramid? Or what about the Snapple fact lesson that they can use to pull out the most interesting details that they learned to include in their writing? I also think about the nonfiction recall organizer that we use, the can, has, is, does organizer to pull out those different facts that they're learning about that topic. I love the customization that's available through the spaces tool on School AI, but I also love how user-friendly it is for students. When we pair it with instruction to organize this information that they're learning, it becomes an even more powerful resource.